P, you want to say hey before we get started? Hi. Look, let's say Look. hey. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel so today is just going to be another frontal wig install video i'm not going to do too much talking because i do have a very similar video like this on my channel already i will link that down in the description box but today i'm just going to be installing my sister's frontal wig and like styling it for her so yes i will come back if i feel like i need to talk but really everything is self-explanatory and like i said i do have another video on how to install a frontal wig so guys just keep watching and i'll see you throughout the video guys i mean like, i literally made this color let's start there but yeah i wig i made from with the hair from true glory i think i was like at 18 and 16 and 18 and then this color I just kept mixing until I got to a color I want. It's kind of like green. It's kind of blue. I mix green and blue. <laughs> Once you lay down your cap, you just want to put the wig on and just to make sure that it fits on the person's head and that it's laying how you want it on top of the cap. So even though I didn't have the right color cap, guys, like I made this work. I still went in and used some makeup just to get it a little bit more to her skin tone. But other than that, we made it work at the end. You guys will see if you keep watching. So yeah, of course, I'm going to go on my Ghost Bond Glue. Y'all already know, if you watch any of my other videos, I take one section first, do it three times, blow dry, and then I move on. And that's it. Like I said, guys, this video is really self-explanatory, but I just want to show y'all that it helps if you have your client or whoever to like lift up their head to place the lace in just so it can be exactly where you want it to be. And I just took the rest just to make sure that the lace is laying right in the glue and that it's sticking. As you guys can see, I already cut off one side of the lace and I'm just going to do that to the other side. After I do that, I'm going to just start kind of customizing the front so for her because she plucked it just a little, but I'm going to go in and pluck it even more just to give it a little more natural hairline. Now, to me, when you have colored hair or colored frontals, you can really get away with it, but it just helps it just a little bit more. So after I do that, I'm just gonna go in, of course, and start cutting my baby hair so we can start molding them down.
Now, normally when I do my baby hairs, I use mousse, but I haven't had mousse in a minute. I don't know why. I just haven't went picked up any from the store, so I'm just going to use my Eco Styler Gel. And yeah, mow her baby hairs down. Now, if you guys want a real detailed video on how I do baby hairs on a frontal, let me know down in the comments. I am not going to spend my time doing a edges video or whatever if you guys do not want it. So just let me know. But yeah, I'm going to do the same thing to the other side and I will come back to you guys when I feel the need to talk. I'm not doing anything special styling her hair. I'm really just doing like a little half up, half down style. So I'm just gonna take basically part of the frontal and a little bit of the hairs in the back so that they cover her tracks in the back and just pull it up in a ponytail so I can get ready to really style the hair how I want. So I'm just gonna twist that up and proceed to flat ironing her hair. After you take off the wrap strip, I'm just gonna use my slick stick and this is just to prepare the hair for hot combing. I like the slick stick because it really helps to get the hair straight, especially when you go in with your hot comb. So if you don't have a slick stick or some type of oil to help you press that hair down and get it really like smooth, you guys are sleeping. So I'm just gonna use also my um, got to be free spray, brush that up to set the ponytail and continue styling. To hide a rubber band, I just take a little piece of the hair from the ponytail and wrap around and also I use a bobby pin and got to be free spray just to secure it and to hold it in place of course we have to go in with our finishing touches guys to me this is what ties in the style i guess like most people don't have to do this with the hair but i always like to go in this with a little powder on the lace just to blend everything together like yes my wrap strips and everything else blends in like it looks fine but this helps it to be even more natural if that makes any sense video i hope you guys really liked it please remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one